So let's go and line up on the starting line. And in three, two, one, let's do this. Hello everybody, Mr. Miola here, bringing you yet another Scrap Mechanic video today. Now, today's video is a little bit different to most of my other videos, and that is because I did not actually create this map. I actually found it while browsing the uh, Scrap Mechanic subreddit, and it's made by a YouTube user. So this guy actually has a YouTube channel as well, made by a guy called Rate Rato Caverna. Rato Caverna is something like that. Um, sorry if I got your name wrong, but I'm going to have a link on the screen at the moment so you guys can go and check it out for yourself. Check out his video, pop him a like, tell him I sent you, um, and if this map does look fun and you'd like to play it for yourselves and race your friends and stuff, well, it actually has a download link to it on his uh, video there. So I'm going to direct you over there if you want to play it for yourselves. But I kind of want to mention something just before I show you this map and get underway. I've had an idea. I'd, I've been thinking about trying to incorporate the community a little bit more into our Scrap Mechanic videos. And I've thought of a way of doing that and sort of like... A community spotlight type of thing maybe like allocating one or two videos a week to this um, basically where you guys submit your creations and then I'll show them off in a video so like yeah and if you guys do like YouTube channels and upload videos to your own channels I can sort of like link back to your channels and you know we can all have a bit of fun and get a bit of excitement going a bit of community I don't know just a little idea I had but if that sounds kind of cool something like you'd like to participate in let me know down below in the comments um I also don't know how we go about sort of sharing the files so like how you'd send me the files or upload the files for me to play and stuff like that uh, but if you guys have any ideas I want you to let me know down below in the comments and if this sounds like a good idea let me know by punching that thumbs up make it rain them thumbs ups um so yeah let's get underway so today I bring to you a hover bike race. Let's go a little break our little toilet there. There we go. So um, this guy here has actually gone and created like a full-on racetrack. It's got like a massive racetrack that's actually pretty big. I think it goes around the whole map. And um, it actually looks pretty cool. I haven't really seen any racetracks like this before. They kind of... I don't know if you can see in the distance all the way down there. There's kind of like a little direction thing that you go through and there's one over there which is like the the ending area and you can see all these little things here that kind of direct you where you want to go and this of course right here is our hover bike ignore this thing here this is kind of just what i built um <laughs> so i could get to this location because i spawn in like the middle of nowhere um this is kind of like a little makeshift vehicle but this here is the hover bike now you guys have been asking me and requesting for me to build a hover bike for a very very long time and i figured that Instead of building one, at least for now, maybe I'll get a, a, like I get around to building one eventually. I found this map, and I couldn't help but give it a crack. So, we'll go ahead and break our little lift. And as you can see, it gets a little bit laggy just for a second, but now it's all good. It's all good. So, this thing here runs off of sensors similar to our unicycle. Um, and obviously, thrusters as well that keep it off the ground. So, what we're going to do, we're going to hop into the driver's seat here. We're going to press 1. And it's going to lift us up that little bit more. So it kind of gets that downward thrust going. And then just by pressing forward, you go forward. I guess back doesn't really work. But it doesn't matter because we've got the little steering glitch, the suspension glitch. So we can go left and right. And then I think two... Uh, what does two do? Yeah, two like pushes upwards, I think. I don't know how that works, actually. That's a good question. What force is that? There must be another little suspension glitch in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, underneath. I see it. I see it. And three is of course the big old horn so Rado went and made this awesome like video showing off his hovercraft race type of thing and i couldn't help but give it a shot yeah in his little video there's actually two different hovercrafts but unfortunately i can't find the second one i don't know if the second one is in fact in this map or if it's just the one but um well there's only one of me and that's all that matters so let's go and line up on the starting line and in three two one let's do this so this thing here, okay. This handles amazingly. Oh, <laughs> straight into the ditch. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. This thing is amazing. Whoa. It's beautiful. Oh, snap. I thought we could get through that tree. No, that's not good. Can we hold on? Can we launch ourselves? We can't. We can't. Oh, what a horrible beginning. What a horrible beginning. 
But that's not gonna stop us. We're not gonna let it stop us. Let's go. We're gonna avoid every bush we can. I think we go down this way. I don't know. We're going one of these directions. Let's do it. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful landing. We stuck it. We stuck it. This is amazing. I like it. It's a really big racetrack. Oh, you can actually have like a whole bunch of hovercrafts going around this at once. Like it's big enough to fit like a whole bunch of vehicles on, which is really cool. Oh, I see. Now we're going over this way. Okay. Don't. No. Oh, that was too close. And the tree. Okay. We're like overturning every time. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. Spectacular. Fantastic. That's special. And um, I think it's, it's really optimized. Like you don't really go too high at all. It's not like you're going to go like, okay, no, there's a rock. Oh, <laughs> like you're not going to like a lot, a lot of hover hovercrafts I've seen kind of, they shoot up into the sky a little bit. They end up turning into like rocket ships and planes. Are we going to hit the rock? Nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I think we're going the right way. This is kind of... Oh, this would be amazing to race with multiple people. Oh, yeah, there we go. But this one here, as I was saying, it sticks nicely to the ground. Like, it doesn't go and take off into the, the sky. It sticks nice, exactly like a hover bike should. So we're cruising down. This is like the straight, I guess. This is where you're going to be ramming each other and taking over each other. And we're going to hit... No, we're good, we're good. This thing handles amazingly. Oh, <laughs> I love it when you hit the little bumps. All right, as we go around this corner. Okay, that was bad. We're stuck, aren't we? Of course we're stuck. Of course we are. Can we wedge ourselves? Oh, yes, we did. All right, I didn't think we would. I was going to say, I want to start hitting some bumps and get like the full effect of like this thing taking off. Here we go. There's a little lump here. There's a little small one. Can we get a bigger one? There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And another one. Maybe. Yes. No, yes, miss the tree, miss the tree. It's so good how there's actually like obstacles on the course. Ooh, can we escape it? We can. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're not gonna hit these bushes. I don't think you can get stuck on them. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. We've gone off the track. We've gone off the track. Get back on the track. Come on. There we go. There we go. This thing's an amazing vehicle. I want to have a crack at making my own hover bike. So if you guys would like to see. I can't, oh, I was going to go around that little half pipe area over there. If you guys would like to see me have a crack at building... Oh, my God, come on. Oh, the steering just... The steering's great. Sometimes it just doesn't turn fast enough. If you guys want to see me have a crack at building my own hover bike or hover vehicle, I want you guys to let me know down below with a big old thumbs up. Or you can just tell me in the comments. Whatever floats your fancy. Here we go, though. I think we're getting towards the end of the track. We're going to miss the checkpoint. No. <laughs> <laughs> we wrapped ourselves around the post. Um, I guess you can go on. No. Are we stuck? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We would have just lost the race just on that. Just on that corner would have lost us the race. Let's go. And I want to hit this curve. I want to hit this bump. It's going to launch us. It's a little sideways bump. And we here we go. The home stretch. The home stretch. Little tree in the way. And we have finished. Oh, snap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. So yeah, guys, like I said, go ahead and check out Rado Caverna's uh, YouTube channel and go pop him a like. If you guys want to play this with your friends, download the map for yourself. You have to go to his video to do that as well. Um, but this was so much fun. And Rado, if you do watch this video, thank you so much for such an entertaining 10 minutes. That was a lot of fun. I should keep that on here so that all the thrusters are turned off. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I kind of want to have a little look at exactly how he's done this. Where's uh? Let me go and get my little connector tool. How are we looking? So we've got all the sensors are connected to the thrusters. Yep, that makes sense. So whenever this sees... Does that rotate? That must rotate, right? I don't think it does. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I actually added on these little metal supports on the side here. Um, because if I go and bump this off the lift, you can see that by turning left, you get the little suspension thing going on. Um, and I basically added that with the hope that it would turn a little bit better rather than like swinging outwards. Like you can see this left one is. It kind of traps it in there. I don't know. I don't know if it made a difference or not, but I thought I'd like give it a shot anyway. Oh, hold on. Sensor, don't pick up on me. Don't pick up on me. There we go. Um, okay, so I wanted to have a look at all the connections. How many bearings are there? You got little bearings down here on the little pipe sections. 
What's this gray? Oh, they're the horns. Oh, I've never used horns before. I didn't know they come up with like little gray circles. That's kind of cool. Does this thing work without the wheels? It must, right? I guess the wheels are more of like a, a cushion just in case you like run into, I don't know, like a, a mountain or something. I guess they'll kind of act as a bit of a cushion. That must be what they're there for. Um, so yeah. Pretty simple, actually. I reckon I could definitely build something like this. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain them thumbs ups. And, uh, of course, let me know down below if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Or if you have any suggestions for things that we can build in the future. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Uh, bye uh, for uh, now. Uh, I just want to move with you.